I was walking down the stairs and I found this dead butterfly. Um, I think it just flew and then died on the stairways or something, I don't know. But I liked the colors, the black and yellow and then the green. I don't know if this can make you see the, the butterfly well. So I decided to do some macro shots of it. So with me, I have my Nikon D750 uh, with my 100 millimeter macro lens. Um, that's the Tokina 100 millimeter macro lens, f2.8. And then I have this uh, bit of water mixed with a bit of oil because when I started taking the pictures, what was happening was that uh, because these animals are made to resist water, um, anytime I sprayed the water on the butterfly, it just you know went off this. It wouldn't stay because I wanted the bubbles on the feathers, you know, for that detail over there. So I had to add a bit of oil to the water, and that's what got me to get the water to stick. Um, so I'm gonna stick the butterfly here. Let me get close. I'm gonna prop it up so I can get that direct view on the butterfly. Now it's 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 no longer wet, so it's quite light. The wind just keeps blowing it away. So I'm gonna spray it with a bit of um, the water. Sorry if it's staining the. <laughs> That's my niece in the background. She's running away from the water. So now the butterfly is heavy and he's able to stick. And I took some shots raw like that and I thought it was cool, but and I brought in the the Q6 lights and I'm gonna throw in some light onto it. So when I turn it on, this is the red, and let me increase the power to the fourth, and then when I bring it you can see the details of what happens. But I think that the red is not working so well for the, the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to change that to blue. Now I found the blue to be much more appealing. You see how the blue feels on it. So I'll show you the pictures. Let me take some shots and show you how it's going. Okay, so I'm going to fold the Q6 lights. So when you break it, it folds nice and gentle like this. And I think that that would give the lights that I want to fall on the butterfly an interesting look this is lightroom and this is a finished product raw shot i already have some presets and that's what i just applied to the image now i'm cropping the 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 shadow in the top left corner that was from the light the led light that i was using so i'm just finding the right crop that would fit um, the image best with the blue light what it allows me to do is play around with a hue and that's a it's a template that i've already created or um, a preset if you will that I've created that allows the, the the editing of these images to be much more easy and fluid but I still change them over time so I'm just moving from one shot to the other so this is a raw shot then when I paste the hue that I did you can see how much it makes the image look much more interesting again back to the raw blue shot and then I'll paste that sometimes I'll go into the details of um, the the white balance here I'm playing with the tint and then sometimes I would jump into the hue and saturation again to play with it. But because I've done the hue already, the tint and then the temperature and the white balance gives a different look each time. And I, I think I'm enjoying this particular look that I have. So I'll probably maintain this one for this shot with just some few little adjustments alongside it. So pretty much these are the results of the images that I got. And this is how I edit these kind of pictures. I hope that you enjoy it and you learn something from this it's a pretty simple look just look around you grab something that is very interesting and you can use that to create some really beautiful images and some of these images i have them already on 500 px uh, for sale if you want to buy them for whatever um, look that you want to hang up on your wall or to just use for your website or anything so you can jump on 500 px search for dexity studios and you can find these images and just, again i'm playing with the with the, the the, the hue of the blue and the purple and it's given so many interesting looks so the rest of the video will be fast forwarded but i hope you enjoy the results and i will see you in the next video later